Hi everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich helping you understand fraction division. We're going to explore how many groups of one-fourth are in ten-sixteenths. So first of all, let's, un let's understand what my little bank of boxes would be. This purple square represents one. These would represent sixteenths because you would need sixteen of them to make up the whole. Okay, so blue is sixteenths. This would be eighths. Do you see that you would need eight of them to make up the whole? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these represent quarters. You would need four of those to make up the whole. Four fourths is equal to one. All right, so we're going to be exploring ten sixteenths. We're going to start out with that amount, and then we're going to take that amount, and we're going to break them up into fourths. All right, so I could click and drag ten of these, but I just want to make sure you understand that ten sixteenths, if I were to simplify that, that would be equal to five of these. 10 of these is equal to 5 of these. So I'm just going to click 5 of these over because it's equivalent. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so now let's think about this. This is what we have now, what we have here in yellow, and we're going to break them up into quarters. Now, if we were going to go ahead and do the work for this, let's take a look at that first, and then maybe it'll make more sense to you. I'm going to use the reduced version, by the way, of the 10 sixteenths. That's the same as 5 eighths divided by 1 fourth, which, remember, is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, if we change this to multiplication and this to its reciprocal, that would be 4 over 1. And do you see how we can divide here? Divide by 4 and get 1. Divide by 4 and get 2. And the answer would be 5 over 1, which is 5. And 2 times 1 is 2. And if we do 5 divided by 2, it's going to go in twice with 1 left over. So the answer should be 2 and a half. But let's see if we can circle that, because we want to know how many quarters. Now remember, this is a quarter. So do you see there's 1? There's two, and this we don't have a whole quarter, it's a half of a quarter. So the answer is two and a half. So let me show you again. The, these represent quarters, and what we had there is we dragged over five of these, and if we kind of take a look at how many of the purple, well actually it's kind of pink, isn't it? How many of those we ended up having, it was one, two and a half of those. The answer is two and a half.